I am Mr. Kato and I teach AP Environmental Science. One thing I want uh, my students to do is to appreciate the delicate nature of our environment. Um, we analyze uh, the relationships between humans and the environment and our impacts uh, in our environment. It's an AP class and so I expect the students to do their readings. There's a lot of textbook reading. Uh, every day, but uh, ultimately I want them to think uh, outside the box and to think about solutions to these really tough environmental questions. We expect a B grade or better in biology and chemistry and Algebra 2 or a concurrent enrollment in Algebra 2. really does make you think uh, you know about recycling uh, thinking about oh paper or plastic this course could really change your life in the way you think about things hi my name is Dave Johnstone I'm the instructor for AP US government and politics The basic topics in AP Gov would be our national government. For example, the Congress, the Presidency, and the courts. How they interact, how they work, how they're supposed to work. Primarily, I expect my students to be awake, <laughs> to be motivated, self-motivated primarily, because we do a lot of reading in the class. The academic requirements for APGov would be a 2.0 GPA. If you arrive in September knowing a bit about current events, you'll be one step ahead of the average student. I believe that APGov will pay off whatever you do, wherever you go, after high school. Everything is affected or is controlled or has an impact with the U.S. government, California government, county government, city government. It will affect you. I mean, so you'll learn the basics here with my course. One foot in front of the other. AP Psychology is about discovering who, who you are. are. We are Mrs. On and Mrs. Middleton. We study mental processes and behavior. Why do we act the way we do? How can we become the best version of ourselves? This class that you'll be taking will cover such topics as child development, memory, intelligence, social relations, sensation perception, and we end it with abnormal psychology.
We want students who are 100% dedicated to this AP course. The course material re requires our students to be mature and disciplined. This, this is, is not, not a talk, talk show. show. We want students who will apply knowledge and participate in class discussions. AP Psychology here at Cerritos High School has a very high pass rate, about 85%. Do you have it in you? Hello, I'm Mr. Turk, the instructor for Aerospace Engineering. It is based on the Engineering Pathway. It's a third year course, a specialty course. Please take as much math and physics as you can handle along your way to taking my aerospace course. It picks up from 1903 with the flight of the Flight Brothers. You will learn a bit about navigation using the flight simulator as part of our course. Continuing your work with Autodesk Inventor Pro, doing some online simulation analysis uh, design work, like for this jet engine on the right. I'll be teaching you how to do basic orbital mechanics calculations, space travel, and the hmm, infrastructure that goes with people living and working in space. Part of the course involves building robots to do prospecting type tasks. Thank you for your interest. Hello, Don. My name is Coach Carter. I am the freshman and sophomore AVID teacher at Cerritos High School. So AVID stands for Advancement Via Individual Determination, and it is essentially a class that prepares you for college in your post-high school life. So it's a national program, but at Cerritos High School, uh, with the freshmen and sophomores, we focus on organizational skills. We focus on uh, getting you guys in front of tutors to work on different subjects you're having problems with. And we also work collaboratively in class with other students to help you guys overcome those difficulties you guys might have on tests or quizzes or uh, with that with that certain subject that you're really struggling with. So the goal of the class is just to give you guys the skills to move forward with confidence academically. And then as you guys progress into junior and senior year, we, uh, we focus more on test taking and, and college applications and things like that. So it's a really great program. I feel, you know, if you guys are kind of on the fence about what you want to do with your future, or maybe you know you want to go to college, but you want to get some extra, get some extra skills along the way in high school, I feel like Avid would be a great class for you and looking forward to seeing you and go Dons. Hi, this is uh, Mr. Daniel Toyama. I'm going to be teaching Ethnic Studies for the 11th and 12th grade at Cerritos High School for elective credit. Just wanted to give you a basic overview of what the course will include or study. Um, for our course, Ethnic Studies as a course aims to educate students to be politically, socially, and economically conscious about their political connections to local and global histories. By studying the histories of race, ethnicity, nationality, and culture, students will cultivate respect and empathy for individuals and solidarity with groups of people locally, nationally, and globally so far as to foster active social engagement and community building, honoring the historical legacy of social movements and mass struggles against injustice, including the establishment of ethnic studies programs in public schools and university curricula. This course aims to provide an emancipatory education that will inspire students to critically engage in self-determination and seek social justice for all. Through the use of historical thinking, students will understand how the past shapes the world we live in today. This course is designed to develop an understanding of how race, ethnicity, nationality, and culture have shaped and continue to shape individuals and society in the United States. This course gives students a broad opportunity to work with and understand the variety of perspectives that shapes the richness and complexity of the United States, as well as our city. So for many of you, that's a basic introduction of ethnic studies. What we will be talking about a lot is... Um, different ethnic groups within our community and within our uh, nation. And we're going to be looking at uh, some of the histories of the United States that we don't normally get a chance to talk about in a uh, U.S. history class. And we're really going to spend a lot of time uh, breaking down some of the ideas uh, talked about in this little paragraph here. So I hope you um, sign up and uh, come along to start having a good conversation about uh, what is ethnic studies and how do we look at our world anew in light of um, political, social, and economic inequalities within our world. Thank you.